Hey guys, Antonalog here, and the $250 Moto G4 Plus could easily be my daily driver over the Nexus 6P. Alright, so let's start off with the build quality. It's made of plastic and there's nothing too special about it. It still has a signature Motorola dimple on the textured plastic back and it's removable. Underneath there is a 3000 mAh battery, which leads to some pretty good battery life. And there's also a micro SD card slot for expandable storage, which is something I know a lot of you guys will appreciate. So looking at the bottom to charge it, there's no USB-C port, but there is a micro USB port that does support turbo charge, which gets the phone charged pretty quickly. Alright, so looking at the display, it's a 1080p panel, but really you can't tell a difference in sharpness than something like a Nexus 6P, which has a 1440p panel. The display is bright, saturated, and colors are accurate, and it's really easy to see in the sun as well. I like it a lot better than the Nexus 6P screen because it's cooler and more color accurate. In the case of the G4 Plus, there's also a fingerprint sensor on the front. The fingerprint sensor is really fast and unlocks my phone in less than half a second. The placement is also good and I like how you can unlock the phone on the table since it's on the front rather than having it on the back and not being able to do so. The G4 and G4 Plus are also fast. They stay cool under load, there's no stuttering at all, and it performs just like a flagship. Now we have the software to thank for that because the software is pretty much stock Marshmallow with about one extra app on there. There's the Motorola app that adds some pretty useful features like ambient display mode and also twist to open camera and chop to open the flashlight. It doesn't make any drastic changes but it adds some tiny features to make the experience much better and I really like Motorola's approach to software. However, these phones are still budget phones so obviously they had to cut corners and they did so by cutting the cameras. They're not impressive at all. There's a 16 megapixel camera on the G4 Plus and a 13 megapixel camera on the G4. In good lighting, the cameras do just fine. The focus is quick, it's sharp, and sometimes it's a tiny bit oversaturated, but all phones tend to do that a little bit. However, in low light, it really falls apart and you can start to see the grain. It struggles to find the correct white balance and also focus. And honestly, it's just not an impressive camera in low light. With that being said, you have to remember this is a $200 or $250 phone and if you're going to step up to something like the Nexus 6P, you're going to have to pay twice the amount. So for the price, I definitely recommend the Moto G or Moto G4 Plus. I personally buy the G4 Plus because I love the fingerprint sensor on it, but the G4 is always there in case you need a more budget friendly option. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram as I'll be posting behind the scenes updates for future videos, especially on Instagram stories. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.